Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video over here, I'm going to be unboxing the uh, Crocs uh, Swift Water. And I'm going to be uh, comparing them with my old ones. And I'm going to do a little review for you guys. And let's go from there. By the way, before I go any further, if you find this video useful, give it a like. Thumbs up and subscribe because I... Uh, I'm doing this from my, with my own money. Uh, I purchased these uh, on sale, and uh, I decided to do a little review, guys. And then, so if you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. So, anyways, here you go. So, uh, as you guys can see, uh, my fish, my channel is about the adventure and fishing. And having said that, uh, when you go on a Crocs uh, website, uh, there's a, a Crocs fisherman, and there's a Crocs uh, Swift Water. What I find fascinating is that the fisherman doesn't really uh, kind of appeal uh, to, for me to be walking on the rocks, walking in the water. So I decided to uh, grab uh, swift water uh, crocs instead of, uh, instead of uh, fisherman version. Because I, I personally think for my fishing uh, trips, I find these uh, a lot more uh, appealing. Now, you're probably looking at this video and saying, why wouldn't you get some fishing boots or the waders? I uh, guess what? Uh, I live in Canada here in Ontario, and we have a super short uh, spring. So what ends up happening? Uh, uh, in reality, uh, we end up going straight from the, uh, from, the, uh, sp from the winter into the summer. And guess what? <laughs> Since the spring here is very short, I just put these on and uh, I go fishing with them. And at the same time, uh, they're really versatile. So you can use them for walking, you can use them uh, uh, anywhere. And it's pretty useful at the same time. Uh, I love wearing them in the summer. I don't, I don't have to use my socks and other, you know, so that's the benefit. Anyways, so uh, let's get back to this thing here. Uh, if you go on the Amazon website, that I'm going to provide that here. Uh, if, if you purchase them through my link, I'm going to put the link for Canadian buyers and Americans. I get a tiny bit of commission uh, that allows me to support my channel, uh, pay for the gas, and I can go fishing, and I can make all these videos for you guys. So if you go on, on, on Amazon website, which is right here, these usually go for about 70 Canadian, and I got them on sale for 50. So as you can see, uh, my old ones that I'm gonna also put the link in the description were kind of brownish. This was black. This was uh, the mesh was kind of brown, and uh, this was brown. Uh, so uh, I decided to switch the colors a bit and go with this one. So that's why I wanted to compare it. So uh, if you go down on the website, this is that's gonna be the place where you're gonna get the best deal for these guys. So the Amazon, unfortunately, I gotta be honest is undercutting all other businesses that are uh, selling these uh, sandals. So keep that in mind. That's why you're going to go, you're going to get the best deal. So anyways, uh, let's go further down here and look. So grab this one and I'll show you what's happening. So if you look over here, uh, uh, like my old ones, uh, the first thing that you have here, this, this is a really nice protection for your toe. This thing, if you, I'm going to be walking with this in water. So if you look over here, this thing is going to protect your toes, believe it or not. So this is the this is same old that used to be on the old ones. Now look over here. They have added this mesh. And now, now this was uh, sewn from like a fishing line. I, I can't think of uh, materials that they used to make this, but I'm pretty impressed. Now, the reason why they put this mesh here is because... Uh, this apparently when you walk out it drives much quicker than other sandals over there so this is the what they have used you know over there yeah you see now they also have this mesh on this here so they have the mesh all around now from the front over here the last uh, velcro oh last me three years so it looks like over here that hasn't changed much so the same mesh and the same velcro over here so this hopefully this will last me for another three years like the old ones now also this rubber here seems to be pretty durable and looks the same like the old ones see and this thing here 
that you grab on. Everything here that I see on it is uh, well made and 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 it's it's very nicely put together here. Now over here, uh, let's throw this paper out of here. Okay, so they have this thing that you can pull. You see, so when you're getting them on, you can pull. So this is also the same. And at the same time, all the old ones, there was a, a croc uh, name over here on this thingy here. See? Now let's look inside over here. Uh, pretty comfortable uh, soles, you see? Same kind of pattern line like on the last one. Very, very, very nicely done. Uh, if I can describe it, it's, it's very cushiony over here. Let's see if the camera can catch when I... Stick my thumb in there. Really, really impressed. Uh, same thing can be said for the front. So from the uh, from here to here, it, it's it's the same material and kind of same uh, comfort. So very nice. I'm impressed with this thing here. Now, if you look over here, I purposely went with the green, kind of switch the colors a bit, and uh, you know it looks nice. But if you look over here. This is the sole over here. See? Now, I personally think that, see, uh, they had some straight lines on the other ones. You see? But uh, on, the old, on the new one here, the pattern has changed. So the last one when I bought it was uh, 2018. This is 2021. So you see, they kind of have this uh, crisscross pattern here. And there's a size. So men's and then nine. That's how you know it's men's. Or I guess medium, but I'm pretty sure this is for men's. And then nine um, for the uh, guys. And then see, there's a Crocs uh, here as well. Yeah. Again, uh, very cushiony from the bottom, which will which will uh, be. Uh, they're they're pretty. Uh, what's the right word here? Uh, slip resistant. So when you're walking on the rocks, they're very very. Uh, they're not slippery. This is one of the main reasons why I love them. For my fishing trips, uh, they're going to be really nice and comfortable when you walk on the rocks and stable. That is a That was a big thing why I bought them. So if you look over here, I'm going to just show you a um, very thick sole at the back. So that's pretty healthy for your shoe. For you guys that have a flat feet, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is very, very nice shoe over here. So that's basically that. They, were, they're, they seem to be built like my old ones. So I'm pretty sure uh, I should be able to get three years out of uh, out of them, or even hopefully a little more. So again, there's a link in the description where you can look the older review from 2018. And there's a link for you guys, links for you guys from Canada and States, where you can pick them up and support my channel. Hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe, and there's more videos over here on the fishing and adventure. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.